I get quite a lot of emails offering me dead LED lamps for autopsies and usually they're just fairly plain ones that we've covered in other videos but uh, Glyn sent me a picture of these ones and, and he'd sort of taken them apart and uh, it was quite interesting because it's got an unusual arrangement of LEDs and also if you lift this out Instead of there being a driver inside, everything's on the one circuit board, and there's no, it doesn't, there's no chips or anything like that as such, really, obviously, other than these two really unsuspiciously big LEDs. And its mains coming from the back, uh, and then there's a, um, th this weighs a, quite a lot, this housing. It's obviously got some sort of heavy alloy inside it with a coating. And the edge of the circuit board goes onto that for heat sinking. Uh, what are these rated at? They're rated 9 watts, which is, I don't know if that's a real 9 watt or a Chinese 9 watt, but um, certainly they, they've obviously they've got s s signs of heat, so it's probably a real 9 watt. So taking a closer look at this circuit board, actually I'll turn it up that way, it's uh, easier to actually look at it that way. The mains comes in here, it is marked plus and minus, but it's actually uh, AC mains, and it goes straight to this bridge rectifier, and then comes out on the other side here. And it looks as though they've uh, allowed for adding capacitors for smoothing, but they've not used them. But after it comes out, it breaks into two series circuits. And each series circuit has 12 of these small LEDs and one of these big LEDs with this mysterious chip embedded in it. And I've got one of them out here. I've already had a wee poke in that. I've tried to actually... Um, where, where's the other bit? The big chip has one LED inside. It's very faint because it was quite hard to see through the phosphor. Uh, and it's also got this, uh, it's got this sort of, initially I thought it might be a PTC thermistor, but then I'm thinking it may actually be an active current regulating chip inside it. And the smaller LEDs, uh, they've got two rectangular arrays. It's very faintly visible in there, but they've got two rectangular arrays with a, a wire bond going on, another wire bond diagonally between the two and then one coming off the other end and these appear to be three LEDs uh, in each of these little blocks so giving six LEDs per LED, LED mod package. So I've got a circuit board here and I've already had a wee, I was trying to actually get some of the sort of uh, the phosphor off uh, hoping it was going to be that soft gel but it wasn't. It was quite brittle and it burst but not to worry and uh, I thought it'd be quite interesting to stick uh, some uh, leads on and we'll put uh, do some tests on it. So let's start off with the small LED. So I'm going to turn that on and I've basically got a ammeter in series and a voltmeter across the LED and if I turn this up it's barely just glowing at the moment. If I start turning this up till it reaches 20 milliamps it starts to conduct around about 12 volts and if I keep going up until it reaches a current of about oops, nudge back there, 20 milliamps, the voltage is fairly close to 18 volts. And considering that these LED chips tend to be about a 3 volt forward voltage, I would say there's probably 6 chips in there. So that'll be th two clusters of 3 chips giving that um, the higher voltage rating. So um, if I then swap these leads and we look at the chip with the regulator in it. So uh, let's see, I'll put the negative leads over to here. And we'll pop these ones onto here. Right, this time I'm going to bring it up a lower voltage. So that's currently at 2 volts. And I'm going to bring it up slowly. And it's starting to glow about 2.46, suggesting there is just a single LED in there. And if I keep turning it up, it's obvious that there's some, there is a modest level of resistance to that uh, device. Either that or it, the, if it's a current regulator, it's got some sort of voltage overhead required before it really starts um, operating correctly. But I'm kind of like thinking along the lines of PTC thermistor, but having said that, if I keep nudging this up, 6 volts, suggesting that about... So that's uh, just approaching. Actually, it's kind of stopping at 17, 18... 
and then it's sort of stabilising at about 18 volts, and no matter how high I turn it after that, it seems to be regulating down to about 18.4 milliamps. Um, so uh, there's definitely some sort of current regulation in there that is just limiting the current in each of these circles of LEDs to round about the sort of 20 milliamp, 18, 20 milliamp mark. And if I was to do the maths now, actually, I didn't think of that, I'll just do the maths now. That is a very high-pitched whistle coming from that power supply. Uh, so if we've got uh, 12 LEDs, 12 of with a forward voltage of about 18 volts each, plus the 3 volt of that uh, LED, roughly, 219 um, times, that's the combined forward voltage of all the LEDs in each of the circuits, times 0 0.0, let's say it's 20 milliamps, equals, you know, that's roughly 4.5, so that is actually, that light is going to be running at 9 watts, which is probably why it failed, because uh, it's a lot of power to be dissipating from a modestly, I mean it's a bigger package than the normal, but it's still quite a lot of power. But uh, I wonder what those uh, are in there. I suppose ultimately I could, I could heat the circuit board, couldn't I? And see, hold on, let's do some experiments. So that's uh, currently running at about 18 milliamps. Let's heat the circuit, let's heat the chip directly and see what happens. Well, the current is going down. I wonder if it is purely thermal or if it is active electronics. This might also be an over, you know, a temperature regulation facility whereby if it gets too hot, and that circuit board is very hot now, that it may actually regulate the current down a little bit. Let's uh, go for destruction here. This is about 200 degrees centigrade it's putting out. And it has kind of, yeah, I think that's actually going to be it, because it is actually dissipating a modest amount of heat through the aluminium heat sink. So I'm not really sure if that's um, an active electronic chip inside that LED, or if it's just basically something like a, a thin sliver of a positive temperature coefficient thermistor type material just optimised to the package of the LED to pass roughly about 20 milliamps. Um, I don't really know. I, I would nudge in the direction of saying it is an active electronic device, a little semiconductor layer thing, layer thing but looking through it, it's such a regular pattern um, when you look through the diet. It doesn't look like a, the normal, what you'd expect of an integrated circuit with a sort of like the sort of little um, tracks and layout on it. It just does look like a sort of sandwich of material. So maybe it is just a basic current regulating diode and that's it. You know, it doesn't have to be that complicated. But it, they're an interesting lamp, it's quite unusual. Uh, I've not seen the current regulator integrated directly inside the LED like this.